Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Man, I have not said that in a long time. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and without any further ado, because I know everybody doesn't like it when I waffle, we're going to jump straight into what we're doing today, which is going to be a bit of ranked adventure. Now, I'm not too good at this, despite what the league rating says, but uh, we're going to jump into this with a little bit of a team free-for-all, or rather just team adventure. Now, the whole point of this is, you know, it's, well, ranked. If you know what ranked gaming is, then you know exactly where we're going with this. And this game is no different. But let's go ahead and jump into it and see where we go. And to be honest, it didn't really take much time either. In fact, I just tried to go in to explain a bit about the playlist, which I'll do in just a little bit, so stick around. But uh, I just went in to go and try and explain some of that, and by the time I got there, it had already found a session. So let's jump in and see what we're doing, where we're racing, and what we're racing in. Hopefully it's not that Audi, because it's a little bit damaged. So here is a team adventure. Now, me being the absolute class perfectionist that I am, forgot to turn off streamer mode. So this is going to get very, very interesting. So I expect a lot of background noise. In the meantime, we're going at dirt racing in B class. Let's go ahead and pick out a car. Now, I've got my Subi down here. We've got the 205 Rally E, which can turn like nothing else. We've also got ourselves the Napier Railton. And over here, we've got a Subi. I think you know where this is going. Hey, uh, game, can I have my paint, please? That'd be very, very nice. Okay, so while we're loading in, I should probably explain, you know, a bit more about ranked racing, especially at the team's variant. You've got a team that you go up against. You usually have a team of roughly about six versus six, which is honestly pretty cool. You've got a red team and a blue team. Now, I don't know what team it's going to put me on in this time around, but I'm going to hope for the sake of everything that it's team blue because I like the color blue and it's cool. But your team has to work together to go ahead and defeat another team, which in this case hopefully might be team red. But knowing my luck, we're probably going to get that completely switched around on us. But we've got to go ahead and go up against a lot of other people. And these are going to be actual drivers as well, not just driver tasks like you see in regular single player races. So let's jump into it and see where we're going. Well, looks like that's exactly what happened. We are now on Team Red, skill rank 3,757. I don't know if that's good or not, but we're jumping straight into the Cotswold Road Rally Trail. How many people are on the other team? Are we going to do good or are we cooked? Okay, it is a 3v3. This could get very, very interesting indeed. So hopefully we might get good on this one. I don't know though, let's go find out. And away we go, they've decided to put me of all people at the front. I don't know why, but uh, apparently I'm considered good enough to be at the front, so I'm not complaining. Also, the entirety of our team is currently out in first, second and third, which is pretty cool. Team Blue are not doing too great. That's another one of my team members. You can go past, buddy. I will not try and tangle with the... Where did you come from? Right, let's keep an eye. I don't want to crash into anybody. I don't know where that skyline is going. Come back. What are you doing? I forgot how to drive. That's a wall. That's not good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of deserve that. Sorry, buddy. So far, we have gone from first all the way down to fourth, which is, well, not great. I mean, it's not awful either. At least I'm not in dead last. Although I might come to regret saying that later. Oh, dear. Go on, make the turn. Make the turn. Make the turn. Make the... That's good enough for me. Wait, the Sylvia slowed through here. Did they hit the wall? Did they get a slowdown? Oh, they are going to try and block me, though. Oh, my God. Ah, turn, please. Go. Do something. Ah, one of our teammates hit a wall. No. That might be us. Hopefully not. I'm going to hope that uh, whoever's out first is honestly doing a fantastic job of defending at the moment. But we really need to try and make a move on that Sylvia. And I figured that uh, I was able to break on that turn just so I didn't go into the wall. But that might have cost me a second place. That, yeah, this does not turn. Come on, CB. Do good. Do good. The finish line's right there. And we bounce off the wall. And across the line we go with, I think, a third place. Not too bad. On to the next one. I'm saying that so I can skip all the copyrighted music because I forgot to turn streamer mode off, like I said at the start. Okay, so now we get to the next bit, which is uh, honestly pretty interesting. It is free roam rush, which basically means we have to go from one destination to the next in any way possible. Kind of driving as the crow flies, give or take... Uh, well, I don't even know, but we have got a lot of stuff to drive, or a lot of uh, road to drive, and we can go there in pretty much any way we can. All that matters is that we get there first, or at least the team gets there first. Anyway, away we go. Let's go ahead and see where we're going. We've got 4.9 miles to drive, and we're essentially just doing impromptu cross-country at this point. Okay, I might be an idiot. Uh, I crossed the road, and we didn't need to cross the river. So I need to be somehow back over that side of the motor uh, motorway. This is not a motorway, that's a river, I'm so dumb. Oh, and apparently one of our team has decided to quit as well, so now we're down to two people. Ah, uh, this is not going well. Turn, turn, please turn. Ow, they didn't turn. 
Wait, the other blue team members are apparently on the same stretch of road. Did they have to cross over as well? Am I missing something? Now this piss really is only as action packed as you want it to be. It's only as action packed as your driving style. But we are driving just like crazy at this point. So we're going to try and see if we can make it. I don't know what uh, position we'll make it in. First, second, third or 47th. But hopefully we might get there at least intact. Or at least that's the theory. So I don't know who's in first at the moment. But they are absolutely flying. Like, they are probably there already, I'm not going to lie. They are really, really quick. That's a Jeep! It wasn't even a Jeep, it was a Land Rover. So, in the meantime, we are currently making our way through this event, which will also count towards your uh, festival playlist total for Forza Horizon 4. And the most important thing to note is that tree. But the second most important thing to note is that apparently we are going to the end of Forza Horizon 4's life cycle. This is the last festival playlist. That blue team member has just appeared out of nowhere. Now I've got to go and beat them. But uh, that is the last playlist for Forza Horizon 4 forever. So if you want to go ahead and get some progress and some special little rewards and achievements, then you've got until August 22nd to go and get those. So that's why I'm making my way through here now. Albeit I'm not doing a very good job of it apparently. Someone's made it there already and I've got 26 seconds to try and dart across. I think this is the golf course? I don't know. Oh, that's not going to go well. That's not going to go well. We're not a cheap. Oh, we shouldn't be rock climbing. What's going on here? 10 seconds. I don't think we're going to make it, but hopefully we are far enough in front that we get the points for the team. Because if we do, then we are going to be leading 2-1. Or 2-0, actually. So, free run rush finished. And what do we get? We get ourselves up to... Oh, we actually did pretty good. 550 points to the team's 100. I think that makes it 2-0. And indeed it does. We are going up to, there we go, 2-0. That is pretty good indeed. It is best of three across five events. So if we win the next one, we win this adventure. And then I'm going to go and change the settings and do it all over again. Okay, event number two, the Mortimer Garden Scramble. Now, I've not done this circuit in a very, very long time. So chances are I'm going to be incredibly rusty at this. So we might get away with it. And um, you might also cripple it on the first turn. So... I don't really know how we're going to do, but we're going through the uh, little opening things. Let's see, we are lining up, getting ready to go. I should get back on the accelerator for this. And away we do go. We've got to try and go ahead and beat again Team Blue, which is consisting of three real-time players. Those are actual people that you're seeing on your screen. And we've got to try and get ahead of them. So this could get very interesting very quickly. Now, I remember these games used to get very, very intense back when uh, Forza Horizon 4 was the most popular Horizon title. But nowadays, with the uh, player base kind of declining a bit, uh, yeah, it's not doing as good. We have just absolutely, really badly pummeled our way past that Audi. I feel so bad. Come on, through we go. Let's try and see if we can keep a little bit of grip. Hopefully we do. This is the shorter version, I think, of the um, Wadsworth area for racing. Oh my god, this thing does not want to turn. Because there is also another one which I think is more marked as cross country, which has us go a lot further out and around and all sorts of absolute genuine chaos. But hopefully we might. I want to try and see if I can get past that Audi again. I really want to try and see if I can get past them because we did through just around here, which is where all the water section is. That slowed them down an absolute immense amount. But hopefully we might just be able to make some ground up again. It didn't slow them down as much this time, which is really not good because we really did need that space. Something happened up front, I believe there might have been a collision. We've had a slight collision with a wall and somehow didn't get a slowdown for that one. So uh, I'll take that and run away very quickly. In we go to lap number three. We're going to try and take a little shortcut and just take out a little gardener's hut. I'm so sorry. But uh, hopefully there's nobody in there at the time because now they're probably in space. But we've got to try and catch the Audi. We're just not doing a brilliant job. This thing does not want to hold the road well at all, which really isn't good for what we're trying to do here. I guess that's what I get for using a car that doesn't even have my own tune on it. Okay, we're coming up to the finish line, and a cross we go! There we go, that's a little early. We have finished in third place, which I believe should give us another team win, and it does, 350 points to another 100. And a member of their team also quit. Oops. And so, that gives us the win, like I said just now, and also a 3-0, which means, hopefully, when it rolls around, there we are, Red Team Adventure winners! We have done it on the very, very first attempt, so I am very, very happy with that, and that also brings up our league rating to Team Racing Rank 8. Hmm, not bad. 
And so there we are, back out from the adventure, back into just a regular game. The first thing I'm doing is jumping straight to settings. Hopefully we should see audio down here. And I'm going to go ahead and enable streamer mode. I really should have done that earlier. Now the eagle eye of you might have noticed the 999,900 god knows what in the top right of my screen. That is because I have played this game since 2021 and found a lot of very nice rare cars. Honestly, some might say a bit too many. So in the meantime, we're going back to ranked team racing because, uh, well, if you want to see me do a free for all, that will have to make its way into another video. But you'll have to let me know in the comments if you want to see me do that. And we're going to try and go ahead and see where we get and what we're racing again. Alrighty, so it's been a bit of time. We have found ourselves a, another team adventure session. Let's see if we can do a back-to-back -back win. Thank you for sending me. I uploaded something Xbox. Greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and see it going to the team adventure once again. Hopefully we'll get something pretty decent indeed. S1 Summer Dirt Racing. I've got a lot of cars that could work for this, so we're going to take it on and see what we've got. And if you think I'm taking this thing, think again. Okay, so having streamer mode on definitely uh, definitely changes the atmosphere of the loading screens. But I've gone ahead and picked this golden monstrosity because hopefully it might just help us get somewhere. And I know the paint is absolutely awful. This thing was designed a very long time ago and I didn't know what a paint creator was. So uh, yeah, I promise the designs are better now. Oh, there we go. What a team indeed. We've got a whopping of five people now with a pretty a decent skill rank between us all. So hopefully we should see... Ah, we're starting with the Derwent Reservoir Trail. Who do we have on our team? Let's go ahead and wait for it to load. We should see... We've actually got an AT37 Audi Quattro uh, Pro 2 truck and an old vintage race car. And away we go, starting amongst a whole bunch of trees. This is a full, I believe, 6v6, which is what I was talking about earlier. Hopefully our team has the skill. Judging by that first turn, they really don't. So we've got to try and carry our team a little bit through here. Where's the first turn? There's a harsh left up here. There it is. Break, 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 break. Sideways. Don't hit the... Never mind. Honestly, those wall cooldowns are so, so bad sometimes. So bad. Right. On to the brakes. Let's try and make our way through the turns. There we go. Someone else has had a bit of a collision with the wall. We might have had a slight collision with them. I really can't tell. But we've got to go ahead and try and catch up to a lot of people. And very, very quickly in trouble. So I don't know what this car's top speed is. But thankfully, we do have ourselves an extra gear. Because if we didn't, I think we might have been toast. Okay, let's try and see if we can make this without getting pummeled and without hitting the wall. Because everyone else used to wall ride on this like crazy on the trial races. But I know they can't do it in this, so it's going to have to force them to slow down a bit. That is a very, very slidey to T100. Hopefully, we can try and catch up. We've got to be slidey ourselves here, or slidey ourselves here. My brain is just not wanting to English tonight. Let's go ahead and see what we are get. We've got to try and I think catch them. See if we can at least get past these three up front. We might have made a bit of progress. First place is absolutely gone. We are not catching them whatsoever. But hopefully there might be a chance that we can just hopefully maybe glide through here. Let's get on the brakes early. That was not early enough. Sorry. Wait, there. what are you doing? Uh, I think my brain just stalled. Honestly, trying to get around that just stored my brain something chronic. Did we make that checkpoint? I really hope we did. We did. Cool. So at least we've made one spot. Never mind. Make that two. We've made a little bit of progress. I don't think it's going to be enough, which is quite a shame. But we are going to go ahead and make it to the finish line, which is just here. And across we go with a nice third place. Okay, at least we're keeping consistent to last time. And back into the loading screens we go. Now, I know there's probably some music behind this, but if I cut that for a second, this is what the loading screens are like. Yep, aren't they wonderful? Right, let's go ahead and see where we're racing next. We're doing a free roam rush, which means anything and anything can and will happen. Now, we did pretty decent last time we did this, so hopefully we might be able to be good at it again. So we're going down the side of Derwent Water, and I think the, the easiest approach for this is probably just to go and floor it down the road. I really think that's the easiest approach. But let's go ahead and find out if that's going to be right. Because away we go. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this thing. We've got a lot of power, a lot of gears. Well, we have six. So a few gears. We've got to try and see if we can make it. We're up to 175. And we just got overtaken by an AC37. Probably doing about 460. I think I might have killed my teammate. Oops. Now, it's going to be interesting to all those going out to the right-hand side and going across the Dermot Water, because, well, you can't get across there during the summer. You will sink like a stone. So, well, best of luck to them. Hopefully, our strategy of staying on the road, or at least trying to, might just save us that little extra hassle, but I really, really don't know for sure. 
Again, first place is absolutely miles away. I might have to just buy one of those cars for myself. In fact, I think I might have one. I just need to get the tune for it. But we've got to try and see if we can make the thing stick to the road long enough to go and make it to where we're going. And I don't even know what race we're doing next. Now, we really need to win this if we're going to stand a fighting chance of getting anywhere. And I've got a feeling this might not go well. Come on, Fiesta. Try not to sink. Try not to sink. Try not to sink. Come on. Come on, we're going to make it. We are so going to make it. And we did, actually. That's that's pretty good. I'm kind of proud of that. 12 seconds to go. And across the line, we have made it. And with third place, again, what is with the third places? Why are we so consistent? I mean, I've not got a problem with it, but we are so consistent. There we go. Playing field has been leveled. It is one all. And I think we are doing the Dermot Water Trail next. So hopefully, I do know this track pretty well. So if we get a good start, then we should be a-okay. If we don't and we get delegated to the back, then we're in trouble. And away we go. We are nearly at the uh, complete back of this. That guy that was first last time has just gone absolutely whizzing off into the distance. And in fact, uh, well, not the distant distant. They're right there, but you get the idea. Now, one of the hardest things to do is race and compensate at the same time. And now that is just about to get a whole bunch harder through here. Because this is a pretty a tricky course and does require a lot of concentration. And indeed, okay. A lot of critical thinking too, so you just narrowly missed absolutely binning it into a tree, unlike our poor friend in the Toyota did just now. Although well, saying that, they've apparently just gone absolutely soaring back past again, don't hit the Audi. That's a tree. If we didn't hit the Audi, we hit a tree instead. Wonderful! Right, let's keep going. I honestly think the Lola and the guy in the Toyota are just carrying us at this point. Oi! Buddy! Quit it! Okay, that guy in the Jeep is starting to really annoy me. It's nothing but just constant push and shove. Come back! Well, to be fair, down here we have got a stupid amount of grip and everything's breakable. We got so close. And across the jump we go. We've got to really try and hammer it now to try and catch that Jeep. Please turn, not again. And across the line we go. What did we get this time? We got seventh. That's not good. But somehow our team member with the Alola T70 has made it and has secured us a win by 50 points. Talk about close to the wire. And there we go. Another red team win. That should hopefully take us up to 2-1. Oh, dear this all hangs on where we're going next that's oh dear well the next one is a free roam rush once again so let's go ahead and see where are we going we know what we're driving but we don't know our destination it's halfway across the other side of the map oh dear well away we go we've got to try and get across the other side of the map someone has binned it off the start and uh, it wasn't us for a change wow there goes the lola so essentially we've just got to go southeast and hope to everything that we don't crash into too much stuff or roll it Spinning is not favourable, but I think that's what we're doing. Don't mind me, just casually becoming a tractor, as you do. So you know what I said about the consistency earlier? Yeah, I really need that to make a comeback now. Ah, oh, road, sweet road. Oh, how I missed thee. And now we get to chill and spend some time out on the motorway. Well, I'm glad about that. There is also no other teammate around us, no other, uh, other team around us. So, you know, life's pretty good on here. I could just stay and chill on the motorway for a bit. I'm sorry, how has somebody made it there already? You know what? No, we're not staying on the motorway. We're not chilling. We are absolutely zooming through everything we can find. We've got to try and make it there. Come on. We are ahead of the other blue team member. The finish, uh, the, finish the destination, is just up there. I'm stumbling over with something chronic. We've just missed the Flying Scotsman. Everything is kicking off. There are 10 seconds to go. We are 0.7 miles away. Can we make it? I don't know. There's a lot happening in a very short space of time here, and I am very, very confused. 3, 2, 1, and there we go. Free run rush finished, and I can breathe. And we missed out on that by just 50 points. Oh, that hurts. That means we're going to be going down to the last event. Oh, this could get very interesting. And we are finishing off with a trail. This is the Moorhead Rally Trail. Now, I've not done this one for a very, very long time. So expect a lot of crashes. And hopefully it crashes into uh, various assorted things and not our teammates. There's only three on the other team left. So they stand actually quite a good chance of winning if they try and get ahead of us. Where uh, we have to do a lot of driving. And a lot of very skilled driving as well. So let's go ahead, get going. There we go. And try and see if we can win this. Remember, it is, of course, right down to the wire. This is going to be a very, very sharp right turn, and we're out of it a little sideways, but, uh, well, we've still made it okay, so let's keep going. Excuse me, Audi, I have places to be. Please don't hit me. You tried, you failed. Oh, God, I should have braked that. Team Blue have also gone up from three members down to two, so their job is now just incredibly easy. They All they have to do is not crash, and uh, I kind of hope they do because we need to beat them, but, uh, well, let's go ahead and see what happens, shall we? We missed that. We missed it. No, that might be our race done. 
Oh, that's not good. I was trying to get past the Audi. Well, I guess it's not all horrendous because the guy behind us also missed that. So, uh, well, at least I'm not the only one being an idiot here. Well, Audi, I guess that one's down to you now. So go ahead and wreak havoc. Just please try and win. Go! This, oh my god, the slowdown is going to be so annoying. Okay, Horizon devs. I plead one thing from you. If we're towards the back of the pack, please don't make these walls slow down so harsh. It is honestly painful. Four, three, two, one, and across the line we go. I didn't think we were going to finish that. We finished in fifth. That's painful. And that's even worse. We missed it by three points and there was one person on the other team. They are probably overjoyed right now, I'm not going to lie. But that, oh, that, mm. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, that hurts. All that rallying, and we still lost. Well, well done to that one person. I am going to go and uh, exist for a bit. I'll be right back. The bit that hurts is that also took us down in the league as well, so now we're at racing level 10. Okay, wheel spin time. Hopefully that makes up for the disappointment, and we got ourselves a old 1995 Audi. I could probably do a couple of things with that. Hmm. Still, that's a problem for another day. And so, 44 minutes of recording and probably about 20 minutes of video time later, we are back to where we started. Back out in the middle of the world of Horizon 4, just merrily existing and doing our own little thing. Now, I'm really hoping that that capture card worked and it wasn't an absolute apparent mess of just terrible graphical issues. So, uh, if this video does make it to YouTube, then that's going to be a, just a miracle at this point. But in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed. If you want more Forza Horizon 4 content before the game becomes, well, pretty much dead, go ahead and let me know. Also, that was the most exaggerated rollover in human history. In the meantime, feel free to go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Thank you very much for watching. There's a Forza Ton live, which I'm not going to do. But I'll see you all in the next one. Tech out. See ya. Okay, maybe I will do it.